Hello and welcome to Journey to Easter. Today is Tuesday, April 4th, and it's Holy Week. Uh, what a great week. Um, I always like to consider myself a, a Holy Week junkie because I just can't get enough of the liturgies. I can't get enough of the stories. I can't get enough of the experiences of, of telling about the journey, you know, from Palm Sunday, you know, through Easter Sunday. Um, it's just a beautiful week. I've always liked to, I always like to say that, you know, it's, it's Holy Week that really gives us the answers, you know, to why we do what we do, why we believe what we believe. I think up until, you know, this moment of Holy Week, um, those apostles, those disciples, they didn't always understand, you know, exactly the purpose of Jesus and, and what his life was about. And after going through everything, the passion, the death, and obviously, what we know the end of the story to be the resurrection, the answer came, and their lives were forever changed. Today's gospel um, for our daily reading comes from the 13th chapter of John, and in verse 31 and 32, it says, now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and he will glorify him at once. Jesus is uh, speaking this line about himself, about himself being glorified. And he spoke these words, you know, at that Last Supper when he gathered with his friends for that last meal, that final time, where he began to reveal to them what it really means to be a disciple. You know, he gets down on his hands and knees and he washes the feet of his disciples. Well, and soon afterwards, he goes to the garden. He's arrested, he's beaten, and he's crucified. Yet, you know, in this line, rather than speak of these pending events in a fearful or anxious way, he points to the glory that he'll receive through them. You know, everything in life that we do has the potential to become an instrument of the glory of God. Even those bad things that happen, even those challenging things that happen can end in God's glory. You know, if we begin to see that God is working through that. You know, when looked at Holy Week through purely our, our human eyes and our, our human experience, you know, we probably could say this was tragic. This was horrific. But Jesus didn't look at it that way. He didn't look at it through human eyes alone. Now, yes, he suffered, and, and it was pain that was you know, beyond anything that we could ever comprehend, and he experienced all of that. But you know, he taught us that through these tragic events that all this would end in the glory of God. And I think that tells us something about anything that we go through in our daily lives. I mean... You know, I'd always like to say that, you know, the more we follow Jesus, that we won't have any difficulties, but that isn't what he says. I mean, he tells us that tragedy will happen because that's a part of life. But as we begin to see God at work and that God is present and God is there to help us, you know, we begin to see that God's glory will come out of it. You know, I think today is a, a, a wonderful day in our journey to Easter and our Lenten journey during this beautiful week that we call holy, that we reflect upon everything that's going on in our lives and that maybe we begin to see it from God's perspective, that we will get through it and we'll get through it and see the glory of God at work. Remember, Holy Week is the passion, the death, we know the end of the story, the resurrection, and that's victory. Continue your journey to Easter.